Hello everybody, welcome back to an edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the numeric display object that we have in the software. So, let's go to the software. So, let's uh, create a new project. Uh, let's see how we can use this numeric display. So, once we select one of the screens, we should be able to see the tool chest and the tool chest we should be able to see a lot of objects here if we select expand all by default in powers you have the numeric display okay you can uncheck it if you want to but I'll just leave it there and then here on parts you have the numeric display so this is the favorite things so it's the things that came by default uh, but I'm going to go through some of this using the function part. So, in the function, you should be able to see a lot of things. But before going to the configuration of all the different things, it is important to define the name of this numeric display. So, numeric display, uh, no, uh, temperature room, for example. So, in case we want to access for example, from all the things of another element to that one, it's going to be much easier. So if we go here and select graphic options, I should be able to see there this graphic object, and then I can select what I want. Okay, as you can see that I have possibility to access to all the properties. So it's important to give names to the options. So in here in a predatory master, we have possibility to access to the different properties. So each option saying that so I'm going to put this so in function we have the basic so basically we have the current value whereas the value that we're going to show here so if I run this we show zero if I put one it would show one but it's not meaning on this one so we need to find this to a variable so if you click here, you have different kind of type of variables. Okay. So by default, or what we're going to use always is the variables. Okay. And here you should be able to see all the different variables. So if you don't know how to create a variable, if you go to Project Explorer, go to variables, here you should be able to find, I don't know, let's say word w temple. This case internal, but you can import from other PLCs information or just create and point to a PLC. But I'm not going to do that details right now. So I got the variable. So I just go here, variable temp room. Here we have the option to select one way or two ways. So basically, it would be like read, write, or only read okay don't ask me why they don't use read and write and it's just one way two way so if you use two ways it means that you need to enable the input here if you don't you should be able to see this in yellow because the object is already configured as a two ways but you are not selected the right so in this case go back i use one way you can see there is no zero indication. Now, if this particular case is um, uh, this one, it's going to be like only for reading. So what I usually do is to change the font. So basic fill and I select uh, something different, like a little bit of gray. So that's giving me the meaning that I cannot right into this one even if i touch but that is more for you into the design so now what i'm going to do this one i'm going to select for for changing the temperature and then i need to enable this then what we need to do is to select the format how the system is going to how the hmi is going to read the variable or how you want to visualize on the display the the variable Okay. And here is if we have any integral and decimal, so I'm going to leave like that. 
okay so if we're using word for temperature for example if you want if you have 22.5 degrees okay usually it goes to 225 okay but it's not good to show that on the hmi so that's why you put the integer on the single place yeah so you can see it in a nice way so that would be for a little bit of formatting okay now if we go to details here you should be able to select alarm colors if you want to use it input range in case you want an input range so if you put input range you have this the max and minimum value okay but this is to overwrite but this is just to overwrite the configuration that came from the variable itself uh, here in basic you have input range in order to override this part so I'm not going to select it we have zero suppressing if you go here on the description you should be able to see more things okay so uh, this is group here you have the things uh, display zero plus sign you want to put that or not then this option is for example we want to use something as a password then you just put the text as asterisk okay and then you have the interlock which is one is good so you can enable the interlock in order to do something so in this case it's going to be 10 room and this one is going to be 10 room set point be the same value but don't worry about it. so i changed that so here if i want to use interlock you can see the change the color is like a block so what we need to do is to probably link this to our variable so we can see if it's going to change so here all we can do is to have this toggle current value and I'm going to link this to graphic object set point uh, okay so then i should be able to interlock this okay using this because it's linked to this so let's have a look in case i forgot i need to do it the other way around so let's simulate and see what happened i think it's another screen yep so here the interlock is on okay so i'm not able to change this here i'm not able to select anything i'm clicking trust me but if i disable this well, let's say 20.5 here you can see this one is still not but this one i can't and if i block it we have the interlock there so this is the thing that we can do in order to um block this part or no and this in this case is some is a variable here but it could be a value from the plc so that i don't know you're in a specific part of the process you don't want to know what it changed then you can put this here okay so um that is for the interlock part yep then we have security label so imagine that i have that one and then you're going to use security number five okay so here what i can do is to create um security group uh, i'm going to use lta and i need to change here the oops I created the security group and on the settings i need to select disable the complex password so i can make my life easier in the demonstration so it's going to be lta 
LTA. What I'm going to do on this user group is to define, I don't know, the level number 10. Uh, I would not bother about this part now. So I have that user, that user, and then what I'm going to do is to check. So I have this auto pop up. So when I try to log into the um, or click on the device, it will show the pop up and I show the security icon. Okay. So on this one, I'm going to show the security icon. OK, and it will disappear when I have the Pi or above. So if I simulate again, you can see they have this doesn't do anything because this is uh, with the interlock then if I touch this it will show up the password uh, remember that now if I log in it, this one should disappear and there we go and then I'm able to change this easy okay good um, what else do we have so that's it for that part. Something very important is this prefix and suffix that we didn't have until the version 3.5, if I'm not wrong. Um, so prefix, it's prefix, so it's going to be temperature. You can see temp, and this is going to be um, alt 248. You can see there in a fancy way. Okay. Then you can go to shape. Uh, you have the option for the beep or not. Um, so here we have the possibility to change the font color. It's the color for the for letters. In this case, I'm in a different uh, control C, control B. I have activated the interlock, so it would not clearly show what I want to. So here I can change the value to any other things. Okay. Having this set in ID has advantage that you can change completely the how it looks like easily. And then later you can change the color set in case you have an alarm, it will display it differently. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you cannot work with RGB. You can but it will be fixed if you change the template. Then you have the transparency. Okay. That's a font color. The title of all is just a size. This one is for the characters. Um, but you can change the size here. Then, then you can change the layout in case you want up change okay in this case is fixed for the grid but you see that it change in case you want to um then the basic star we have the fill part simple as that uh, i will already show you that part um what else do we have so the borders, we can change the borders to change the color, solid, blink, and then you can select the speed, uh, type solid, then the color, and again, change whatever you want to, you can change the thickness, this, okay. and also you can display an image here, and it will tell you, okay, which is the image that you want to, and then I'm going to use for this one. Okay, you can see here the test is contactor. And here you can uh, move the text here. There's a few more things, fancier things. Um, it's transparency. You can assign a variable to this too. If you want to play with a variable or a different object to that one, you can. Uh, you can add the shadow, but in order to see the shadow, it's going to be good if we change the background part. So I'm going to use white. And here you can see here the, the shadow. It's quite nice. You can change the color of the shadow in case you want to. Okay, this gives a 
nice look and feel. Okay, there you can see it. A few things that are quite nice for just the numeric display. Then we have size and location here. A few things. Um, this case is like that because it's in a grid, but you should be able to assign a variable in case you want to move the option around. You can do it, and also the angle you can play with that. I believe already made a video for that one. Uh, option alignment. Then we have animation in case you want to create, I don't know, a feeling or something, or just to move it. Now the movie, the feeling is for different options. Uh, but you have the possibility to play with this. And then the visibility, you have visible height and collapse. So basically, if you want this, you can assign a variable for this. So, okay. Um, so let's uh, this one. I'm going to create a new variable here. Not um, visibility. Okay. And this one is going to be linked to that one. I have another video about visibility. Okay, so I recommend you take have a look when you're using the when you're using the boolean variables you need to use converters so here zero is going to be visible always one disappear okay uh and basically double it and it's important to know the name of these things because it's much better to track and also when you use a script and you use for example a trigger i don't know uh when you click you can select a screen object and here you select the graphic object dot those things and then you can do something here okay whatever you want uh, but that's a little bit of the idea you know, of having with the numeric display so this is how we can uh, work with the numeric display there are a few nice things that we have compared with visual design for example so have a look Play with it and um, let me know okay so this is how we can play with the numeric spray thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one